What's up guys? Welcome to your 102nd Android tutorial for the new boss and we're going to learn more about the async task and what methods it can use and when they get called for the most part. Um, so first before we get too confused let's kind of move these brackets down. You guys want to have two brackets here um, and then we're going to set up some more methods uh, again within this load some stuff class. Uh, now let's just kind of go in order how it's going to read it and which methods are going to get called when we use that execute. Again, here's where most of the meat is uh, for for this class where we load the data and return something. But uh, we also want to be able to, to receive it, uh, whatever it's returning, and kind of maybe want to set up some variables. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to say protected, uh, da, 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 protected void on pre-execute. And again, we can refer to whatever is being passed in, like a string, f, something like that. And within this method, we can, uh, this is going to get called first for the most part. So we can set up some variables if we want. For the most part, we don't need to uh, for this class. But just to show you guys, maybe leave a comment. Um, example of setting up variables some, or setting up something. And we get that f or that string and we can just set that equal to uh, whatever and there we go um, this won't really do anything for the most part uh, so it doesn't really matter and uh, another method we can call is to get that progress again we have an integer that we can refer to and so if we have a progress method that kind of displays some kind of a loading bar or something like that we want to access the progress method. So what we're going to say here is we're going to say we're going to say again protected void on progress update and it's going to take an integer and we're going to call this uh, integer array I'm sorry and we've worked with arrays before um, you know it's like that but when we call them in or pass them in you just want to say dot 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 uh, and that's basically the same thing as an array for the most part we're going to set this integer array equal to like progress or something like that uh, is the name and then again we can I don't know if I'm gonna go through a progress bar or not I might uh, if I do it'll probably be the next tutorial but uh, then after that we're gonna say also one last statement that gets called after everything's completed after we call a return method whether it be our string that actually loaded or this null um, one the last method is gonna be called protected or it's going to be protected void on post execute and uh, we're just going to say a string as well uh, because again we're returning a string here so we're going to say string result which we're going to rename um, again basically uh, we're either going to get a return null or we're, if everything worked right we're going to return that string that we loaded called collected and once it, once we call this return, it's going to, you know, execute this uh, method called on post execute, and we're going to get whatever that return was. So since we're returning a string, we're going to work with that. We're going to call it result, and now we can set up our our text view within here. Our text view was called data results, or data result was it? And we can just say dot uh, results maybe dot set text and then we can set it equal to our result which again will be whatever we return so let me format everything and those are the four methods that you can use with this async task class again pre-execute um, do in background which we're familiar with and progress update and also a post execute where we actually change our our text view so let's run it, make sure everything works, guys. 
and we're probably good to go with with this tutorial again I'm not for sure if I want to do progress update maybe I will um, you know it's something a little bit new that you guys might like so I'll probably do that in the next tutorial but let's make sure everything works <sighs> so we're gonna say internal data and just like a test text something like that we're gonna save it and if we hit the load button yeah there we go we have our uh, test text there um, so uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next tutorial have a good one